Hello and welcome to our new training video. With connection files, it is possible to create and maintain only one software for all machine variants. Connection files can be used to set init values. You only need one software and activate or deactivate the needed connection file to set the init values. At first, I created this parameter class with three values. Those are set right protected false and initialized true. I placed one object of the class and I put the values 1, 2 and 3 to my parameter values. Next step is to create the connection file. So you go to File, Connection Files, right click Add Connection File. You can choose a name for it, for example, init values. In the properties of the connection file, you can change the color of it. You can choose any color you like. With double click, you open the connection file and you choose project connection files. Then you drag value 1, value 2 and value 3 of your parameter 1 object to the parameter connection file. And then you put the init values to it, like 5, 6 and 7. At first, we deactivate this connection file so that we get the init values 1, 2, 3. After this, you can download it. Now you see that we get values 1, 2, 3 on our parameter object. After this, I go offline and I will activate the connection file. After activating it, you can go online and download it again but now we have to add the project connection files and then you can download it and now you will see that with an active connection file you get the values 5, 6 and 7. In the connection manager in the PLC connection files you will also see the set init parameters. Second part is that you can change connections within one machine and one software. Using different connections can be easily configured with connection files. At first I place the bridge and my parameter object. Without the connection file I want that value 1 should be connected to client read. With the connection file I want that value 2 will be connected to my client read. Therefore we will add a connection file. For this one you can also change the color, but I will just open it in my project connection files manager. I will switch to my connections connection file and I will drag client read and I will also drag value 2 into it. So with my active connection file client read from the bridge should now be connected to value 2. First I will deactivate the connection file to see that just value 1 will be connected to my client read. You can download this one. We deactivate add active project connection files, but we activate delete existing connection files. Now you will see that if you change the value of value 1, it also changes the bridge. Now I go offline and I activate the connection file. You can go online and download. In the download menu, make sure that you add the project connection file. The connection is now dragged to value 2 and value 2 changes the value of client read and write from the bridge. In the connection manager, you can also see the connection inside your connections connection file.
Additionally, we provide connection files for switching one software for different hardware configurations. You can switch from a light machine to a full machine very comfortable using connection files. For the light machine, I just want to use a digital mixed module. For the full machine, I want to use a digital input module and a digital output module. For the light machine, I just deactivated the digital input and the digital output module by putting the place number to 65535. In the graphical hardware editor, you will see the DI and TO module as a parked module. I go online and I will download my project. And you will see that the bridge is working with the digital mixed module. Now I want to create one connection file to switch between the digital mixed module and input and output module. So I add one connection file. You can also change the color for this one. From the bridge, I will drag client read and client write into my project connection file. I switch to my hardware network and I will drag input one and output one from my digital input module and from my digital output module. I will also drag the place numbers from digital mixed module, digital input module and digital output module. I will deactivate the digital mixed module with setting an init value of 65535. Digital input module will get place number 0, digital output module will get place number 1. After this I will go online and download and I will choose add active project connection files. And now you will see that client read and client write is connected to digital input and digital output module. You will also see the status in the digital input and digital output module and you will also see the deactivated digital mixed module. With our connection file manager it is very simple to choose the machine's configuration. We provide one class, the manager, where you put the same software but different configurations. This can be done via LaSalle or via the HMI. I placed my parameter object and the bridge and I also placed the config file manager from the tools library and connected it to the plc underscore info from the hardware library. I will add one connection file for configuration one. I also choose a different color for this one. And I add another connection file for my configuration 2. And I also put a different color for this one. I will open my config1 connection file. And I will drag value1 and client read. And in my config2 I will drag value2 and client read. After this, I just press the button to export my configuration file. You can just choose any name you like. I just put config1 and I will save it. Then I switch to config2 and I will also save this one with the name config2. After this, I will go online and I will go with tools, advanced debug tools, file commander. I will create a new directory, you have to name it configs, and in configs I will just put my two configuration files in it. You just press copy on the right hand side. Then you can close the file commander and download the project. On the connection file manager you do auto reset to one and with set config you can just change the configuration from config file number 1 to config file number 2. After changing it the PLC will automatically restart. 
This way, it is possible to handle multiple different machine variations without changing a single line of code.